three many people what people wanted to have their spirit of discernment sharpened come on people Amen. I would like it to be sharpened, Lord. Yes, God. You know. Amen. I receive it. You know you have the spirit of discernment because when somebody come to you, you know exactly what you. You, for instance, let's look at this. You sit down in a congregation, in the house of God, wherever could be in a house wherever, and while you're there sitting down, somebody is talking and is saying something and you find it is not sitting in your spirit not that you're not interested you are interested but it don't line up with the word of god True. just like oh listen to this just like oh you, you would have man of god woman of god whoever look at you and tell you oh Masturbation is not wrong. It's not it's not sin. Oh, lusting after another person. Twelve attendees at this conference. Did not ask you nothing. Just like oh who did that a while ago? People of God, you all have to be very mindful, please. Be very mindful what you're all doing. Coughing, sneezing, drawing up your throat, whatever. Just try and back off because it comes so loud and they sing. Yeah, what I was saying is that you're sitting down there in the congregation and they're coming to you with something. And they're telling you the spirit of masturbation is okay. Pornography is not sin. It's just something you're watching. And they would come to you with all kind of things and you sit there. And your spirit man is not in the midst and you start to say, this person is, 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 um, is speaking like an antichrist. Because the word of God said, a clean hands and a pure in heart shall see God. And this person is mixing into mixing into things that is of the darkness. Come on, people, that is of darkness. Yes, God. This person is talking about unclean spirit. Yeah. When the Lord God Almighty is saying that it, we mu we must live holy and righteous before God. Yes. Amen. When a person telling a person. Oh, you know, you might be stealing and you might be doing this, but, oh. but you know, um, nothing is wrong with it. Just pray. God will forgive you. Each time you do it, just pray. The person right there is not um, telling you that whatever you are doing, if you keep doing something over and over, that being presumptuous, or to say to you, if you have, if you, um, have that kind of spirit operating you need prior you need to be delivered and set free they are not telling you that you need to be delivered they are telling you that it is okay just pray god won't you know it's not sin because sin sin is what listen to me they are saying sin is when you you you, you know you, you commit wrong, you do this, you do. And right there you sit there and your spirit of discernment started to discern. Listen to me. The spirit of discernment must be very quick. Not to just discern, di 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 discern just what the person is saying, but to discern the person their self, themselves. Amen. You are to discern that person's spirit to know that that person is confused in their mind. You are to under, get it in your spirit that that person is moving with an antichrist spirit. Because that person is coming up against the word of God. One of you hear what I'm saying, people? Amen. Amen. The word of God. It's the word of God. It is the word. Hallelujah. When they are coming up against the word of God, because the word of God said, it's, it, if a person wants sex, it's best for them to get married than to burn. And not, listen to this, yes. not just to be single and, and, and want sex and get married. Not like that. 
Mm. But when the Lord God Almighty tell you yes, that, when the Lord God Almighty tell you that it's best for a person to be married than to burn, he means if you are dating with somebody, don't burn up in 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 loss and have sex. Yes. Yes. Get married. Just get married and done. You get what I'm saying? Amen. But only married to do, to whoever God put you and that person together. What I'm trying to say, not just basing on that, but just giving an example. What I'm trying to say, if that person is speaking something out of the will of God, you need to discern that person's spirit to see where that person coming from. And see that the, that spirit of Antichrist jump is in that person. Get what I'm saying to you? Yeah. Yes, Holy Ghost. You sit there, you start to discern that the spirit of Antichrist jump into that spirit, person's spirit. Many people will talk about the spirit of discerning. And what many people need to get and understand, the spirit of discernment is not something that you see happen in the natural it is a spiritual True. thing True. come on people Amen. Come on, Holy Ghost. a person can say for instance with mother Ivan, she could be at her house and i am there with her and i see mother Ivan doing things all the time and I would say, Mother Ivan, why are you doing that? And she would say, well, I'm doing it because if I don't do it this way, that will happen. And the reason why I'm doing it, because this is, this is going on there and that is going on there. Right there, listen to me, people of God. Right there, that is not the spirit of discernment. Amen. That is not the spirit of discernment. For instance, you see Mother Eva doing the same thing. You don't question her again, but you see her doing the same thing. And you already know the meaning of why she's doing it. That is not the spirit of discernment. That is the spirit of knowledge right there where you know. Come on, people, you know. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Clarity. You know right there. You know exactly that's not the spirit of discernment. Mm. You can't, Mag. If you, what if you, what for instance, Mag Almighty, teacher Crystal, you have your child right there with you, and you see your son, Mag Almighty, operating because of whatever Mag Almighty going on with him, whatever you know is operating in his life. And you see your son sit down and start to rock, start to rock, start to rock. Before so you know exactly why your son rock, rock why your son rocking. Because when your son rocking, listen to this, when your son rocking, you know he's going to get very busy, start to jump up and start to get happy and do this and do that. Yes. And you sit there and said, you said, Oh, I'm discerning him. When I see him rocking, I'm discerning him because I know exactly what he's coming with. That's not discernment. It's not discernment. I receive the Holy Ghost. I receive. That is not discernment. That is knowledge. You know exactly what is about to happen. Just like the Word of God would tell us that when you're open for something, open is not something that you see. Open is something that you don't see, and you're looking for it to happen. Amen. Amen. Faith, faith, substance. Amen. You're looking for it to happen. You are open to live for the Lord Jesus Christ. And when the time comes for you to go to heaven, you know you want to get to heaven, so you're open for that. Yes. Amen. Hope. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes. The spirit of discernment, my God Almighty, is something that you don't know, but it, my God Almighty. Reveal to you through the Holy Spirit. Come on, people. True. It's revealed to you through the Holy Spirit. 
many people are many people are, 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 are having the spirit of discernment so wrong. True. So wrong. I want to hear what I'm saying. Many people are having the spirit of discernment so wrong. Yeah. Yeah. They know exactly what is what, but they are saying. Mm. For instance, let me say this to you now. Look, look at this, 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 look at this. Get this in your spirit. You as a mother, you um you are dear. You as a mother, you are dear. And by, by being in the house with your child, you leave and you're gone to the bathroom. By the time you go to the bathroom, your child or your children get up and run to the computer. Listen to this. Run to the computer. And they start to play game on it. Can you all hear me? Can you all hear me? There are 11 attendees in this conference. The host has joined the conference. Glory be to God. Can you all hear me? Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You know many times I chip out people of God. Hallelujah. Yeah, of course, say to the candle. And when, you, when, I'm, when, I, when I chipped out, do not put your all mouth to the phone. Stay away from the phone and worship softly because sometimes I can chip out and I can come right back in. Amen. Okay, what I'm trying to say now, people of God, we are talking about people that are saying that they are discerning things when it is not discerning. It's no Amen. It's knowing. Right there, you have your child. You, as soon as you leave the computer and you go to the bathroom or you might go to the kitchen or you might step, step outside, your child run to the computer and start to play with it. And by the time you come, you, you're coming back in the room, you hear when the child run and sit down, bruh, you, you know, you see the child come to the computer and da 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 name it and one of you. Right there, you need to get and understand. That is not the spirit of discernment. When they said, I know I discern your ways, I see, I discern your behavior, I know exactly what you were doing. You know, because what you have to understand is that this is something that your child do with you all the time. Get what I'm saying, people? Yes. Now, if yes. you don't know it, at first it's going to happen and you don't know it. And that child happened to do whatever they, they, they you know, they, they did. Yes. And you are there and when you look, you see the child run from the computer but when you look at the computer everything's set but you don't know even to go into history you don't know about history and right there you sit down at the computer and while you sit at the computer you hear the, the, the voice of discernment said he was just on the computer playing game Right there, it is the spirit of discernment that tap into telling you exactly what he was doing. Yes. Want to hear what I'm saying, people? Amen. Right there, it is the spirit of discernment that rise up in you, telling you what the child was doing. You called the child, you said, let me ask you a question. You was on this computer a while ago? And the child said, no, no, mommy, no, I wasn't on the computer. You know how hard that is for you with the spirit of discernment? 
you know how oh, you have to my God Almighty convince this child and you know, let this child know that the Spirit of God is talking to you. Listen to this. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 You have to say, God, show me, tell me exactly what he was doing. Tell me exactly. Amen. And right there, if your spirit of discernment is sharpened, it will say, you just came on the computer, you was watching Mario, and, and um, you were this, and you, and you started to tell this child things. True. Because right there, you need to understand, when, when, when you see that the child is this denying, denying, lying, and denying that is not true. You can tap in deeper in your spirit. Come on, people. Thank you. Yes, yes, and I receive it. And right there, the spirit of discernment will even say to you, go and check history. Come on, talk to me. Yes. And you go and check history and you said, okay, bam. History said just five minutes ago. See here, see it here, the last thing that has been watched. History said this. You think that child can look at you and tell you that is not true? No. And you know for sure that you yourself wasn't watching it? You know, you all, you all don't even know because, <laughs> oh God, many times I, it has been such a challenge with me and my nephew inside here. Very a challenge. True. True. Yes, sir. Many times it's a challenge with me and my nephew inside here. When I say that challenge, I mean a great challenge. Yes, sir. yes, Apostle. The word says so. Great challenge. And when this is a challenge, my God Almighty, like the Lord show me the other day I was here and something happened and it happened so quick because i was inside i was showing my nephew certain things and i said don't touch it don't go near it just let it stay there um if anything i will try and deal with it very soon and as soon as i walk away from him and he was there doing what he was doing he came and he said he came, and listen to this, he came out, and when he came out, he said to me, Auntie, the thing just come down. Mm. Auntie, the thing just come down. I said, what thing? Oh, as soon as I step out, that thing come down. I said, listen to this, you know, and I'm saying, I sit there. And I sit there, and I said, how could that be? Because, listen to these people of God, the oh, way... You did. Oh, look, Jesus. Amen. Marco said to the candle of ocean day. I am here, I am here. Can you hear me? Yeah. Amen. Now, what I want you all to get in your spirit, before it happen, for instance, let me, let me get your whole mind clear, okay? Amen. You ever have, Amen. It, it, I believe this happened to every one of us, where we have a glass, and we start to see a crack on that glass. And you said to yourself, you know, I like this glass, you know, and this, gl this glass start to crack, but I'm not going to throw this glass away as it, because I know I still can use it, because it's just a little crack that it have. Holy <laughs> and right there, you need to get and understand that you're using the glass and you are being so careful the last time you use the glass sister angela the last time you use the glass you make sure i feel the power of god my god almighty 
Thank you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The last time you use the glass, you are making sure that it's only you alone use that glass and you put it you put it certain place so that nobody don't touch it. But where you are, my God Almighty, with that glass is just two of your dear, two of your dear. No eat. Listen to this. The eat is not going to say, okay, you know, if the eat catch it, it will break it. Come on, people. Not so. I'm gonna give you another revelation different from the glass. Let's look at your will your 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 mirror in your car. Your mirror in your car. Your what that big thing before it name, what you call that scream, the one that you look. Windshield. Windshield the past. The windshield, windshield. 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 You know that your windshield have a little crack. Hmm. But in the midst, my God Almighty, it's not it is not the sun is not too hot. And you're not, you're, you're the car park where, where, where the only way it can happen unless somebody throw something and break it. Yeah. And when I said break it, for it to crack all the way and open up. You drive it, my God Almighty, last night and you came in with, a, with only a little crack. But you park it up, my God Almighty. And listen to this. Your children go out there and they were playing. And while it, by the time you're ready to go back to work and look, you see the, 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 the split come all the way across. And not even so, the split that it split, it have another mark on the other side. Come on, talk to me. You come out, you said, you come out, you said, wait. But last night I drive this thing and it did not split like this. And the next thing about it is that the sun is not hot or it's not that cold to say something, you know, penetrate it and it cause it to split, to, to, you know, to open up. And you sit there and you're saying, how could this be? Somebody, then your child, no, your child come and said, Mommy, I was outside here and I just see the glass. I just see, uh, uh, what is that um, thing on your glass? All this time your child never asked you any queen thing, you know, because it was just a little split, a little split. And the, and the child can't see the split. Come on, people, get what I'm saying. I'm helping you all with your spirit of discernment. I received it, I received it. So you sit down and said, how oh, could this child come and tell me that? The, the, the thing split. You start to hear the child throw something on your car and the, the, the weight of it cause it to split. The weight of what he throw or what she throw cause it to split. So you go there and said, let me, let me, you know, let me t t take a good view at this thing. And then, you know, the spirit of discernment saying, you know, the child was playing and throw something and that's how the child come to see it because there's no way this child could, this thing could split and open unless it has been provoked by, uh, you know, something heavy. It has been provoked by something heavy. So you said to that child, come here. What do you see to, you know, with this thing? Oh, I was, listen to this. Oh, I was standing there. And when I look, I saw it just start to split, go across. <laughs> hey. Mm -hmm. Now, remember what the spirit of discernment tell you? That is something throw and provoke it. The child come tell you that they stand there and see it split. Now what caused that child to be see to look at that little split and stand there watching it split in? You see where the light coming in right there, right? Yes. Yeah. No, you just leave that thing outside and come inside. And all of a sudden your child can tell you that they see it split. They see when it's split, when that is something, that, if it is, if it's your windshield, if it is splitting on its own, it don't show you when it's splitting. It takes it time. No. Take it time. Yes. Take, it don't just come across like that. Lonely Creek. Yes. Oh. It takes it, it can take even months before it go all the way across. True. But yes. in a second, 
or in, in a hour, you leave it out there, your child come and tell you that they see its spirit. When the spirit of the Lord, the, the discernment is telling you that is the child so, throws something in there. So what you need to do, go, the, go out there and look to see where, where it was it. You said, come here. What is this mark on this? Why you throw something in it? Oh, I mean, I didn't throw something in it. I was standing and I only hear something knocking it. So how comes you tell me that you stand here and you just see it split? Now, get what I'm saying, people of God. The spirit of discernment already tell you exactly what happened. Yes, amen. You all need to get and understand. Many times I'm in here. And when my God Almighty, my nephew look at me and tell me things. Just leave something there. Know what is going on. I said, make sure you don't do this or do that. Make sure. And all of a sudden you just come and say, Auntie, this just happened. As soon as I stepped out, I hear brrr, everything come tumbling down. Did you touch it? Did you brace it? Did you do anything? No, no. People of God, let me tell you something. One of the worst things can happen is when you're wrong, liars. You can't even, you, you, you have to be saying, God Almighty, how can I do this? How can I go about doing this? The lying spirit let my God Almighty, your discernment, look as if God is not operating in you. And I know many of you parents out there face these kind of things. Many parents face these kind of things. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, Holy Spirit. So right there, my God Almighty, if you don't have... The spirit of discernment. And let me say this to your people of God. If you have the spirit of discernment and you are speaking the truth and somebody is lying. The Holy Ghost is going to lift up a standard on your inside. The Holy Ghost is going to lift up a standard against that lie. True. Thank you, Lord. Some people, their mind tell them things. And they come and wrongfully accuse you. When I was drive when I when I was driving, coming home, this I, I hear I hear that you are there doing this and doing that. You take up the phone. Somebody take up the phone or you can take up the phone. That my God Almighty, the spirit of discernment not operating in. I hope, I hope you're not there with that boy, you know, because I'm here driving and I see you and him there. Oh no, that, where you get that from? That's not true. I'm here all by myself. The neighbor is there, can tell you if, I'm, if I was here with anybody because the neighbor saw me just by myself. You ask the neighbor, the neighbor said, no, I don't see anybody come around. Right there, you have to understand it's a lying spirit that is telling you things. Because what? When the enemy know that you know things, my God Almighty, he will come and let it look as if you are discerning it. Mm. Mm. Lie to you. He will lie to you. Yes. Yeah. Holy God, your word. Did you know that you can even dream things and it is not so? Even though you're a dreamer, you can dream something and it is not so. Why? Because the devil knows that you have a lying spirit, so he will put something in your spirit in the dream. To for you to come and say that I, I dreams, I dream, I dream, say your last night doing so and so. Oh, it will happen. You go, you can go to your bed with somebody in your mind. Talk to me, people. And you can be talking about that person. And you go to your bed and get a dream about the person doing something. And right there, my yeah. God Almighty. You call the person and said, I dream still I dream last night, see you doing so and so. Da, da, da. And you forget the conversation that you were talking about the person. Come on, talk to me. Mm -hmm. 
The devil can give you a dream. That is the reason why when you wake up and get that dream, you need to question God and let God, listen me, let God bring to your remembrance that you look, you were talking about it. That's why the devil do it. Let me say something to you. You see, if it's God, let me tell you what God will do now. Where, where God stepping into a situation like this. God will, listen to this. The Spirit of God, He will not give you a dream. Or He might give you a dream. But listen, let me tell you what God will give you that is lying against that person. Or if somebody lying against you, what God will bring forth. He will take you into the Word and talk to you. Listen to this. Amen. Why do you Amen. think God has scripture like Isaiah 55? Oh, glory. Why it, not Isaiah, Psalms 55. Why you think God of scripture like Psalm 55? To encourage his children and hallelujah. Why you think God of words like Psalms 55? Why? I'm going to show you something. No, like Psalms 50. Psalms 50. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Like Psalms yes. 50. Amen. Why you think God of word like Psalms 50? He will come to you and say, listen to this. He will give you Psalms 50. You're there reading, reading, reading. And you're saying, oh, oh, you know, oh, this song good, this song good. But when you catch yes. to the 19th verse, my God, no, when you catch Amen. to the 18th verse, and he said, when thou, when thou sawest a thief, then thou contendest with him and as being partaker with adulterers many people don't understand adulterers don't mean that you're you're you're, you're, you're married and, and having a sexual mm -hmm. life it don't just mm -hmm. mean that mm -hmm. yes. it don't just mean that you're commit adultery when you're you're married and having sex with another person yeah. no it don't just mean that you can be adulterer adulterer against God's word because you are married to him and you are committing adultery against what he's saying that you are not to do yes. now listen to this listen to what it said right there because I wanted to listen clean you know people have got it said when thou sawest a thief then thou content consentest consent consented yes. with him and as being partaker with adulterer. You hear that? You're being partaker with adulterer. Who is he talking? You're being a partaker with the thief, the wicked one that come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Listen to what the next verse said, 19. Thou gavest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue formeth deceit. Come on, people. Deceive. Yes. You see what I'm saying, people of God? You let evil come in your spirit while you're there discerning about a person and saying that, I know this is what this person is doing. And the reason why it happens is because you're always talking bad about the person. So you cannot get good things in your spirit because your spirit man already tapping into the realm of Satan. Forgive me, O oh Lord, Jesus. I want you to hear what I'm saying, people. When a person, the Bible said a clean hands and a pure in heart shall see God. When a person is operating with wrong spirit, there can't be good spirit operating. Unless you get rid of that wrong spirit. That is where the enemy is going to come in. And have you discerning the wrong thing? Holy Ghost, hallelujah. That is where the, 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 the enemy is going to have you discerning the wrong thing, people. So right there, my God Almighty, you have to be so careful. One of you all get what I'm saying, my, my, my people. I receive it, Holy Ghost. Right there, my God Almighty. A person that is a liar will only, my, that person won't discern. That person will always come with lying things. Come on, people. You're not discerning. You're lying. You're not discerning. You are lying. Get that in your spirit. 
You're not discerning, you are lying. Because the enemy know you to be a liar for him. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And right there you're saying, oh, I'm discerning this, oh, I'm discerning that. No! You can! You see, that is the reason why the Lord God Almighty cannot reveal things to a person that have a lying tongue. He cannot work with you. If you have a lying tongue, he cannot. I said if you have a lying tongue, you cannot. Let me tell you something. Lies are very ter terrible thing, you know, people of God. It cuts. It destroys. It brings down. It causes you to delay. It causes the Spirit of God to lift from you. It Let me tell you something. If you happen to tell a lie right away and you don't, my God Almighty, catch yourself on. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you all something what happened to me yesterday. And this thing, my God Almighty, I'm telling the people of God, it grieved my spirit so much. I was going somewhere yesterday and I was in the midst of somebody. And while I was there, it happened that my phone rang. No, I called somebody. And when I called the person, I was there talking to the person. So right away, the person asked me a question about somebody else. And when the person asked me a question about somebody else, the question that the person asked me is something that I know. But as soon as the person said to me, like the person would say, is there any room into Darnet place? As soon as Darnet hear the name called Darnet, tap at me and said, <coughs> you know, like, you know, somebody like said, don't say anything about me. Don't, don't. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So right away, instead of me saying yes, I said, I don't know. Right away, that's what I said, you know, I don't know. When I more than know. And right away, people of God, the Holy Ghost rise up in me. Yeah. And convict me, convict me, people of God. The Spirit of God convict me. I said, I said, I said to the person, let, let me call it back, let me call it back right away. I said, God Almighty, I have lied. I said, Father, look how many years I don't like. Look how long I don't like. Look, look what happened right here, God. Because, let me say this to you all people of God. It was a spirit of fright that, that hit me when the person slapped me and said, put their hands to their mouth and said, shh. You get what I'm saying, people? I, 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 I just said, I don't know. I said to the person, I don't know. And just by saying that, I don't know which you might believe. It is something simple. It is not simple to God. Not. Right away I start to say, Jesus Christ, God Almighty, I repent, I confess. Father God, forgive me, I will not do it again, God Almighty. I look at the person and I said, why you let me lie? That's what I said. Because the person slapped people of God. I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about. Not you have the spirit. The person, right? The person, not me, or the not spirit. You. As not people, indeed, that. Oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Listen to me. You said the. Ibaba sha mama makone. Riko sata mama kunda. Fire, fire. Mama ma shatara makonde. I said right away the person, the person knocked me all the spirit bomb and slap me. And I, all I could answer to the person, I said no. And then I catch myself. I said, let me call him back. I said, why you let me lie? Why you do that to me? I said, you, you shouldn't have a problem with that because that is nothing that was asked. Right. I said, next time I have to be very careful. You know what happened right there? That is knowledge right there. Knowledge with tap in right there. Knowing is knowledge is knowing. Come on, people. Knowledge tapping right there. That means whenever anything like this occurred, I would not, people of God, I have to be, so So this is something that I have to pray okay. and said, God, okay. keep me focused so that I will not lie, 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 lie on this thing again, lie on things like this again. 
People of God, I want to make heaven so much that I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best not to. People of God, lies a dangerous, dirty spirit. Right away. You see, because I see, listen, listen to me. Because I try to have so much, every so, I mean, I try to be filled, full, fill my spirit every day with God. I try to be filled with God every day. Glory. Hallelujah. Yeah. When I say that right away, the Holy Ghost lift up a standard and convict me. Conv <laughs> my, right away, my spirit man was, was, I mean, I got a slap from God. The Holy Ghost lift up a standard to let me see, to show me that me lie. And I said, why you let me do that? Why you do that to me? Why you do that to me? Bec knock me out of the spirit. Bam! Yes. Yes. And I said to the person, let me call back and I repent. People of God, I'm telling you. I love my children, I love my grandchildren, I love my family, I love my relative, but if they have to go to prison, jail, wherever they have to go, I'm not going to lie for nobody. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I'm not going to lie for nobody. When you have a lying spirit, the spirit of discernment cannot operate with you. And let me say this, if even some of you that are dreamers out there, notice Ask yourself and look into yourself and ask yourself when last you have a dream that operate after you dream it. Think of it. If you see your dream as a dreamer and that dream don't manifest itself right away, lying spirit is operating. Come on, talk to me. And lying spirit is blocked in, blocked in, the, blocked in your discernment with that dream. Can't let you able to to, to, to manifest. Come on, talk to me. You're getting dream, but you're not getting dream to manifest right away. Come on, talk to me. Yes, yes, true. I said you will get dream, but you will not get dream that manifests right away because the spirit of lie. And one thing I know with God, if you have a lying spirit, don't talk about your want the spirit of discernment. He will not sharpen it because you will lie on him. Oh. Yes. Jesus. You will you will not be careful to hear the voice of the shepherd and hear any voice talk and say, I know it's God. I know it's God talking to me. What are you talking about? I know God from the... When you have a lying spirit, come on, talk to me. Yes. Yes, apostle. When you have a lying spirit, you will not know the difference from when God talk or when ma man talk, the devil talk. You will not know it. When you have a lying spirit, you will not know the different. Yes, God. Holy God. You will not know the different when you have a lying spirit. That's why he said a clean hands and a pure in heart. Your heart must be pure for God to come in. Come on, people. Your heart must be pure. This is no joke thing must be pure. Apostle, there are two scriptures about discernment that go right to what you're saying. I just feel the Holy Spirit as to those scriptures whenever you want them. What you just said. Go ahead and, go ahead and read the first one. The first one is Psalm 119 verse 66. It says, Teach me good discernment and knowledge for I believe in your commandments. The first one. Hallelujah. And then he also took me to the scripture to say, Job 6 and 30. Is there injustice on my tongue? Cannot my palate discern calamities? You hear that? Uh, glory. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, 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 don't move, don't move. Yes, God, hallelujah. My God Almighty. I'm on fire, Lord. Holy Ghost. Jesus. Holy Ghost. The word, the word, every discernment, scripture, people, it's all here. And she's speaking. Every word is coming off the paper. Every word is alive. No joke thing. And I'm going to tell you all the truth. Because, you know, I always sit in the word and try to 
You know the reason why the Lord, I want to tell you all something. The reason why you see the Lord bring all these topics to me to pray over and to teach and to preach and do whatever is because these are things that sitting down inside of me. They're probably even laying dormant. Why? Yes, Listen to this. Why? Yes, because I have been so busy doing a lot of things, name it and what have you, and, 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 and do not, my God Almighty, have the time sometimes to run over what I have written down in books. Amen. But the thing that I thank God for, whenever you read it and it's in your spirit, God will, will bring it forth. He will reveal it. Amen. That's how God works. That is the reason why he brings forth teaching like these out of me. And I'm able to teach it, but I might not be able to remember where it's taken from. Am I speaking Apostle? the truth? Yes, God. Yes, you are. Apostle, I heard that the last one I wasn't able to give you was Leviticus 10.10. 10, and that was the three that he gave me, clearly. Levit Levinic. Le Leviticus 10.10. 10. Amen. Amen. Glory read read that one. Read. We get to Psalms 119. Verse 66. Let me get to that. Yes. Amen. Let us get to that and run over it very quickly because it's pertaining yes. to all that we are talking. Psalms 100. I just pray that Whoever happened to hear and tap in into this will get something in their spirit. Yes, God. In Jesus' name, let it be. So shall it be. Hallelujah. Psalms 166. 19. And 1966. Amen. Teach me good judgment and knowledge. For I have been believe thy commandments and yearns your 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 what your what your bible said teacher my bible says teach me good judgment and knowledge for i believe your commandments i okay. have two readings also it says teach me knowledge and good judgment for i believe in your commandments okay bless god actually the same thing so you see people of god this is what the Holy Ghost is doing, teaching knowledge. Amen. Teaching knowledge so that we can live by the commandment of God. And that's the next thing about it. Many people don't operate with the commandment of God. They don't care about it. Mm -mm. They only live in some and don't want to live some. Just like some people, you have many people love Deuteronomy 20, 28, but they only love it from, from 1 to 14. They don't go any further. They yes, don't yes. go any further. No correction. No they correction. don't want the correction from 15, said, if thou sh and mm -hmm. if you do not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, all these curses shall come upon you. When people see those things, they say, oh, oh, oh that's not me. I'm about the blessing. I'm not about the curse. My God is not about the curse. He's about the blessing. And no, don't know that no, God, no. God deal on the throne. Two things he sit and meditate on when it comes on to the throne. Yeah. Righteousness and judgment. And holy. And judgment. Righteousness and judgment. That's what God, God stick around the throne and do. Righteousness yeah. and judgment. So you see right there. The Lord God Almighty, the Holy Spirit of God is teaching knowledge for us to understand where the spirit of discernment is coming. Go ahead and give me Psalms. Job now, Apostle. Give me Job 6.30. Give me Job, not Psalms, Job, yes. Job 6.30. Go ahead. Job 6.30 6 reads this. Is there injustice in my tongue? Cannot my taste or mouth discern the unsavory of malice? No, listen to this. No, this is very important for us. You know, I speak about all these things. Oh my God. Yes, it was coming as you spoke it. 
Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. Now, Job 6.30, look me, my God Almighty, let me speak about it. Because it is so important for us to get it in our spirit. Yes, God. Yes, God. Job 6, verse 30. That's the last verse. Yes, Wait, God. The am last I, am verse. I, is there iniquity in my tongue? Cannot my taste discern? Mm. Preserve things. Look at that. Preserve Perverse. things. Perverse things. Perverse. Perverse. perverse things, perverse. Thank you, perverse yes, things. Being 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 presumptuous in the sight of God. Yes, now look at these people of God. Is there? It said, you know, is there? <laughs> is there iniquity in my tongue? That's the thing about it. When iniquity is in your tongue, the spirit of discernment cannot come because it is your tongue that have to speak it. That is what we all, that is what, that is one of the things we need to ask God. God, why, why is it my discernment is not sharp? I read your word. I, Lord God Almighty, I, I, I prayed. I spent time before you, da, 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 da. But God, is there iniquity in my tongue? Is there? Is there iniquity, God, in my tongue? Come on, is dear God iniquity in my tongue, Lord Jesus Christ of mercy? And what is iniquity? You see, many people don't understand what is iniquity, you know. Iniquity is when you make up something that is against somebody's spirit. You lie, my God Almighty, of things against somebody's spirit. And also, not just lie, but also you plan bad things against a person. You plan bad things and it's in your heart. Iniquity on your tongue and it's in your heart. Come on, talk to me. And when these spirits are operating, God cannot move with you. Can you imagine? When the spirit are operating, God cannot move with you. Jesus. Mine unmuted. Whenever the spirit are operating, God that, that this is what I was talking about earlier. The spirit of discernment will the spirit of discernment you can be sitting down here. And somebody all the way in Africa, Jamaica, yes. even in places in America, far with all of you where you are, I can be sitting down here and knowing that I have my God Almighty, all my spiritual children out there. I will sit down and I just felt in my spirit to start praying. I might not call you all. But I will just start to pray away things. If you all notice there are priors on YouTube line. Look at those priors. Sunday morning I pray three priors. Yes. Three yes. priors I pray Sunday morning before service Sunday afternoon. I pray these priors and put it out there. And these are prayers that can help God's people. Because what? The Spirit of God have a way of tapping into me and showing me things. Or might even bring somebody in my midst for me to pray for. Hallelujah. Can you hear me? Yes, Apostle. I said the Spirit of God will bring things in the midst to pray for, have me to discern. Come on, people. True. Have me to discern. 14. Yes, God. Like the other day, I am here and the Spirit of God keep tugging on me and telling me, you need to call this person and pray for this person and talk with this person. The Spirit of the Lord keep tugging me to do it. And I'm going to do it because I get clearance. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes Amen. God can speak something and you don't get the clearance as yet. You have to wait. It's good to wait on True. clearance. Wait on him. Amen. Amen. That, Lord. Wait it's good to wait clearance. on clearance. Wait for your clearance. Uh -huh. 
Is there iniquity in my tongue? Can tongue is a question to ask. Cannot my taste? Oh my God! Oh Lord Jesus Christ! Cannot my taste? Cannot my taste? Come on, people! No. Can't even Cannot my taste? What is God saying? No, no. This is spiritual. You all think it's physical. This is spiritual. Yes. Uh, your spirit man can't taste it negative. Your spirit man cannot deal with it because it is not of God. Come on, people. Not. You said that. The spirit man is more You understand, people of God? Oh, but my sister. You understand what I'm saying, my, my, my people of God? Is there iniquity in my tongue? Cannot my taste, oh my God, discern? Preserveness. Pres Come on, people. No, it cannot. Cannot my tongue. Cannot. God, listen to me. Let me say something to you. Sometimes some things will happen and God will not tell you. That is different. When God, when God hide things from you, that is different. He did it with Elijah, people of God. When the Shunammite woman was in the midst and, and Elijah speak into her life and give her, tell her that she will have a child. When the son died, God hid it from Elijah and it was a reason why, because he wanted to show his power. He hid the sickness, he hid the sickness and he caused the child to die because he wanted to lift the woman's faith. You think it was about Elijah? Mm. It was about the woman's faith that God wanted to lift. Shunammite. The Shunammite woman, he want to lift her faith. After she, after the child come back, you know what she said? Really and truly, there is a God in you. It was sealed. Hallelujah. That was when she come to realize that God is really and truly real. Because she believed at first that God, that Elisha, Elisha deceived her by giving, letting her get pregnant. Yes. But after the death of the child and Elisha happened to my God Almighty, roll up on the child, seven, roll over the child seven times and put his nose to his nose, his mouth to his mouth, his eyes to his eyes and roll on him and, and, and call on the power of God. And the child come back. She said, really and of a truth, really and truly there is a God in Israel. Amen. Can you imagine people of God? That's a different thing right there when God can hide things from you. But the thing about it is that when God, oh, God listen to me, God can hide and he can hold back. Lord Jesus. When God hides something from you, that means he's coming with something more powerful than you can ever imagine or think. Season. When God all back on you, it is your fault. You are doing something wrong. Whenever, can you all hear me? Yes. Whenever God is all in back from you, you are the fault. You need to check yourself. We need to check ourselves. God only all back is good stuff because he don't, he don't want for it to be contaminated. When God hides something from you, it's because he wants to bring to, your, to his, his knowledge. He wants to bring to your knowledge. He said, look, I am God. I do whatever I want to do. Now, let me see how much you're going to trust me to bring forth glory to my name. Amen. Amen. Whenever somebody have to come and say, you didn't hear so and so, it's just like with my stepfather. It's just like with my stepfather. When the Lord God Almighty hid his death from me. Why? Because he, God, is in control. Come on, talk to me. He knows that it's going to, listen to me, he knows that it is going to bring pain and agony. He knows that many is going to cry. He knows how my mother going to feel. He knows everything. But at the same time, what we don't get and understand, when God do things like this, he's doing something two different ways. He is doing something for the person that my God, for the person that, um, of the person that died. And he's doing something to the person that died either disobedient 
and either somebody's crying out for help. Come on, talk to me. Yes, sir. Somebody don't get that. Disobedient and somebody's crying out for help on the other side. So God step in. God step in. And God said, you know what? I know my warrior, she loves to pray. She pray about every little thing. You know, she will pray. And when she pray, my word cannot go come back to me void. Because I said, while she, before she pray, I will answer. While she's praying, I, I already hear her. So, you know, before she pray, I hear it. And I answer. And while she's praying, it's already done. So, you know what? Let me hide it from her. Come on, people. Yes, amen. amen. I don't amen. want her to amen. pray about this because I want to come amen. in the midst. I want to do something in I the midst. Want in. I want to come in. I want to show myself. I want to show that I am God. I want to show that many prayer that has been praying. I want to show that many prayer that is praying. I must answer. Come on, people. It is time for me to answer in a drastic way where it's going to bring pain and agony. And at the same time, those that are in pain and agony forget about my God many things that they are praying to say. God, help me. God, this is too much. This is unbearable. God, this is is this God it is that da, 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 da. and then God step in in a way where he what hide it from the prophet the idea hide it from the prophet God step in and do whatever allow whatever need to be done look at that look at that that don't mean that I don't have the spirit of discernment that don't mean that God is not speaking through me Come on, people. I was flowing on this. Listen to me. I was flowing like crazy on the 2nd of September. You all remember? My mother, he was even on the line. My mother was there on the line. I was flowing like crazy. I was I was um speaking to her. I was speaking to other people. I was great things were happening. If you all look at that message, the second of September, look at it. Look at that message for the second of September. Deli put in deliverance time the second of September. S and listen to it and see how much I was flowing. That was that was the first of September and, and, and the second of September was when the death the death happened and God I know knowing that I was flowing so much the first of September God hid it. He hid it yes. for his purpose. For his purpose, for his mystery. But you know what happened? After all that has said and done, people is going to come and understand why God allowed things to happen. That's how it is. After all that has said and done. People will understand why God, why God, come on people, why God allow things to happen. Oh Jesus, I'm getting so much things in my spirit. Oh Lord Jesus. Listen, yes God, we're here, we're here, we're listening. Holy oh God Almighty. Oh Lord, feed us, feed us, feed us. Oh God. The Lord God Almighty is something else. So people of God, with the spirit of discernment, just you all hear it. Whenever the tongue is not right, you cannot discern things. Come on, because too much mess, when too much mess is flowing, the spirit of discernment cannot. It cannot, pre it cannot preserve. Come on, people. It cannot. Whenever lies in the midst, whenever iniquity in the heart, whenever all kind of things going on, it cannot operate. Can you imagine? Forgive me, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Can you imagine, people of God? And many don't seem to get and understand what God is doing. Look at that. Look at that, people of God. Background noises, they're gone, sorry. Glory be to God, hallelujah. So, people of God, it is for us. Conference recording stopped. It is for us as children of the Most High God. Come on, people. Yes, God. It is for us as yes. children of the Most High God to consider it. Yes. See why. Many people, my God and my... This, and let me, let me say this to your people of God. This is the next thing you all need to get in your spirit. It might not be the last. 
It might not be the least and it might not be the last, but it is very important to have the spirit of discernment flow with wisdom, knowledge and understanding and everything in the midst. You have to get in the word. You have to be filled with the word. Yes. Yes. Yes, God. You have to be filled with the word. You have to read the word as often as you can. Not just read the word. Listen to me. Not just read the word, but meditate on the word of God. Meditate on it. Amen. Sila, sila, sila. Hallelujah. Not just read the word, but meditate on the word of God. Because the word of God provoke the spirit of discernment. Amen. The word of God provoke wisdom. It provoke knowledge. It provoke understanding. What did the, what, the, what, listen to me. What the Lord God Almighty said, and what did I tell you all that? The spirit of discernment connect with the Holy Ghost. Come on, people, it connects yes. with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Not the mind. Amen. Not the mind. Not the flesh. Amen. It connects with the Holy Ghost. And why? Look at this. 1 John 5, 7. There are three in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. Come on, people. You see why you see why the spirit of discernment need the word to push forward with the Holy Ghost. Without the word, you will not hear from God the way you are to hear from Him. You will not. You will not able to do it. And that's where the enemy fighting me. But I'm telling you, the God of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. He's in operation. Many times what I have to do, I have to say, no, 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 I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to spend time with God today. Get what I'm saying, people? Yes. I just decide in my spirit that I'm yes. not yes. going. I just tell myself, I am not going to live strong more. I'm going to spend time with God. I want of you all get what I'm saying. You have to be perse perseverance. Come on, people. You have to have perseverance to do things where yes. God is yes. concerned. Yes. And endurance, endurance, and perseverance. If you don't do that, the enemy, my God Almighty, will block you. Get what I'm saying, people? Amen. You have to have a made up mind. And you have to be led by the Spirit of God. People that the Spirit of discernment operating, is those are people that the Spirit of God will lead them. Lead them. Come on, Amen. people. Amen. Amen. If the Spirit of God is not leading you, then He cannot, my God Almighty, do what He has to do. Come on, talk to me. True. Amen. If the Spirit of God is not leading you, He cannot do what He has to do. I want you all to understand that. Valid option. It is a must. Because it is Him that is going to lead you what? Into all truth. Come on, people. Into all truth. Amen. Into all truth. Come on, people. Amen. Amen. Into all truth. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Oh, my God. My. Into all truth. Into all truth. Yes, God. Many times people talk some things, they just talk win, win, win. It is like wind. It don't mean a thing. It don't mean a thing. The spirit of my God Almighty de um, deceive. That's a terrible spirit, you know. No power. No spirit, no power. That's a terrible spirit, you know, people. That's a very terrible spirit right there. The spirit of deceive. Yes. It steal, it kills, and it destroy. Well, if you understand what I'm saying, people of God... It's it steal, it kills, and it destroy. The spirit of discernment. It steal. It is as it is. It is a thief. It is a killer, yeah. and it is a destroyer. And we don't need it. Come on, people. We don't need it. Yeah. What if you all get what I'm saying? We don't need it. Yeah. We don't need that spirit. 
But we needed my God Almighty to have the right action and the right behavior whenever we are asking God of things. And let me say something to you. You must always be ready to sacrifice for whatever you are asking of God. Make sacrifice. And your sacrifice can be different from other sacrifice that they have to make. What is sacrifice? You have to, my God Almighty, put away things sometimes that you think is your pleasure and take that quality time out for God. Make sacrifice. Also, my God Almighty, in the midst of everything, suffering. Sometimes you can be going through some things. People will blame you. People will talk to you, tell you things. People will say things to you. People will carry on. People will look down on you. People will talk all manner of evil about you. Where you will what? Suffer for the sake of Jesus Christ. Matthew 6, 44. Yeah. Matthew 6, 44. Come on, people. Matthew 6, 44. You will find these things happen. You will per per persecution for the sake of Jesus Christ. Amen. You have to, my God Almighty, have love. You have to have, my God Almighty, love. You have to love people. You have to forgive. When you have forgiveness and all these things inside of your God can't able to operate the way you are to. Anything you ask of God, any spiritual things you are asking of God, the spirit of love must be in the midst. Have to. You have to learn to forgive. Somebody come and accuse you saying but wrongfully are things about you. You have to forgive. Matthew, Matthew 5, 44. But I say unto you, love thy neighbor. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which despitefully use you. And persecute you. Look at that. Hey. That he may be the children of your father which is in heaven. For he maketh the sun to rise on the evil and on the good. And shed it. And send it rain on the just and on the unjust. You have to see people as how God see people. But not the sin. Not the sin. Nah. Not to love the sin but love people. It doesn't matter what life a person. It, yes it do matter in the sight of God. But that's not your job to do. Your job is to pray for them. Yeah. Keep a clean hands and a pure in heart. And you shall see God. When you keep a clean hands and a pure in heart, you shall see God. For that spirit of discernment to operate. Amen. Worthy, worthy are you, Lord. Worthy to be thanks and praise. Worship and adore Lord, you are worthy You are worthy Oh Lord You are worthy to be thanks and praise Worship and adore Mighty, you are mighty, O oh Lord. You are mighty to be thanks and praise, worship and adore. Worthy, you are worthy, O oh Lord. Worthy to be thanks and praise, worship and adore. 
Lord, I thank you. I thank you for what you're doing, oh Lord. I want you to be glorified, glorified in everything that you do. For you are worthy, you are worthy, oh Lord. You are worthy to be thanks and praise, worship and adore. Singing, I love, I love Christ Jesus. Singing, I love, I love the Lord is my bonanonos. Singing, I love Jesus. The Lord singing, I love, I love the Holy Ghost. Ibabasha singing, I, I love, I love the Holy Spirit. Rabasha, hallelujah, singing. One more time, singing, I love, I love the Holy Ghost fire, Ibabasha, hallelujah, I love, I love the Holy Ghost fire, blood and water, singing, Standing, singing, I love the spirit of discernment. Singing, I, I love, I love the Lord. Singing, I, I love, I love. The Lord, I love the Holy Ghost singing. I, I love, I love the Lord Jesus Christ singing. I, I love, I love the Lord. Glory be to God. Ibo shama mama ketoria kando. Robo kotoria bashandai. My God Almighty. Go ahead, my God Almighty. Teacher Crystal, go ahead, my God Almighty. My God Almighty, and close us off with Mother Ivan in Jesus' I'm, I'm name. Here, Apostle. Oh, blessed be to the name of the Lord. I never know you was dear, Marco Serikando Boshende. Robo kotoria bashanda. Marco Serikando Boshende. People of God, it's a blessing to know, Lord Jesus, that you have called forth such a time as this for this powerful teaching. Before you go any powerful prayer. Before you go any further. Yes. Before you go any further, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
king of the universe God of more than enough Lord Jesus Christ I ask of you right now right now Holy Spirit of God take over minister gay mind body art and soul breathe upon her right now Marco said the candle was there for everyone that is in the midst that is my God Almighty under the influence of the wicked old drug and sickness. Whatever my God Almighty is coming with. When I call it flu, when I call it my God Almighty cold, when I call it coughing, whether he call it my God Almighty dry throat, whether he call it itching, whether he call it my God Almighty call, whether whatever name, whatever name you Ribiasha call it, I bind, pump, pump, paralyze it. I shut it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. With the power of the Lord God Almighty, I bring it down powerless right now. Right now. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I bring it down powerless. I shatter it right now to come down. I command it to flee in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are Lord God Almighty, your people are concerned. My God Almighty, even in the midst of their children, whatever is taking place with their children under the influence of sickness, I bind it, I cramp it, I power I paralyze it, I shatter it, I scatter it, I come against it, I reverse it, I curse it back to the sender, down into the pit of hell where it belong. In the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, do my God Almighty, hallelujah, minister gay and the many, many my God Almighty that are facing this kind of situation. Whether you come, my God Almighty, even my God Almighty evangelist Denise, in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind, I cramp, I paralyze right now, right now, right now, right now. I lose the fire of God in your home right now for the fire of God to consume. 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 Fire of God consume. Yamama Shatoria Kandorbo Sene. Consume every sickness in the name of Jesus. Dry up right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Pack up and go. Dry up. Pop up and go right now. Get out of evangelist Denise. You will not go home. You will not spread your disease. Get out of minister gay. You will not my God Almighty spread your disease upon Mama Phyllis. Oh my God Almighty, none of the workers them. My God Almighty, evangelist Altia. You will not abide you. I cramp you. I paralyze you. I scatter you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let God arise and the enemy scatter in the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ. I command you, I command whatever strength you come with. Whatever you call yourself, whatever strength you come with, whatever deceitful way you walk into the body, whether you come in, my God Almighty, with my God Almighty, hallelujah, with, with my God Almighty, I come in the wind. You take yourself and you come in the wind, coming from wherever. Come in the wind and disguise yourself and find yourself in the body of God's people. I ribia katoria bakunde mama kunda yo. Aroko sataria bakunda. When you come, my God Almighty, in the AC, I pull you down powerless. When you, because my God tell me that my God Almighty in Psalms 44, 5, he said, through thee will we bring down our enemy and in thy name I crush you under. Right now I'm bringing you down and I'm crushing you under. If whatever you come with, whatever you come in, because my Bible tell me that when my God Almighty, hallelujah, Elijah was there, my God Almighty, and he was looking for my God Almighty, and the people were looking for my God Almighty, for the power of God to come in. It said it did not come in the wind. 
It did not come in, my God Almighty, hallelujah, whatever. But it come with a still voice. And the power of God Almighty coming with a still voice, but coming with power from an eye. Get out. Get out of God's children right now. Whatever you call yourself, get out, get out. Sneezing, I cramp you, I paralyze you. Yes. You sneezing that come with whatever you come with, I bind you, I cramp you, I paralyze you. I shatter you. I scatter you. I come against you. I disannul you. I cramp you. I paralyze you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, Jesus. You are not of God. You are not of God. The blood of Jesus Christ ransom. The blood of Jesus Christ ransom for God's people. He paid the price to set God's people free. Even right at this moment, I am picking my God Almighty. I'm getting in my spirit somebody that have my God Almighty infection in the vagina. I can see it so clearly. Mighty God. I see the infection in the vagina. If that person reasonable and want to say it is me, I will send it back to the pit of hell right now because it is very uncomfortable. Glory be to God. It is very uncomfortable. I can see the color of the discharge. It is not white. Oh my God. The discharge is not white. It have a yellow look and it have a, a odor. It have a odor. Let me tell you people of God, whoever it is going on with, when the discharge is coming down, it feels as if you are passing water. Because it comes down water, it is not even that thick. My God, Jesus. Reveal, 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 reveal. Oh, oh, my spirit man tap into it right, right now. And this, my, whoever it is, whoever wanted God to heal them right now. Reveal! Hallelujah, hallelujah. That is the spirit of discernment, people. I am discerning right now. Yes, yes. Uh, of uh, uh, Whoever it is happening to, it can listen me, it can be it can be a little sick you know, but it have a, the way it is it is affecting the vagina right now that every now and then it come down and wet the panty. Come on, talk to me. Jesus. You see, all you have to, you all have to understand, you know, this is how this line run. It just speak it as it is and get rid of it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You might believe. Let me tell you something. It can even cause from demon. It can cause from in from 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 the the, the medication you're taking. If whoever taking medication, it can be a sexual transmission. Right, that's right. It can be from your medication. It can be from demon. It can be from the right. toilet. It can be your rug that you're using not clean. It can be from the soap that you're washing your vagina with. But it is an infection. Yes, yes. Did anybody hear me? It's me. Mine unmuted. Okay, hold on. Just when she comes back on, give your name. Give your name when you come back on. Thank you. Thank you. Marco, send a candle, Apostle, Apostle, someone wants to speak. That is. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. People, the, the God, 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 show me the person. But I, you said I learned not to call okay. old people name. But um, um, can you all hear me? Yes, so yes God, yeah. show me. I see, I see it so clear, people. I'm going to say clear. I'm looking right into the vagina right now, and I want to send fire in it to consume it. Fire, fire, Come on, who is the person? Who is the person? Angela. My God Almighty, Marco said the candle was in there. My Yibaba Sha! I hear the Lord God Almighty says two people, you know, two people. Somebody's afraid to talk out. 
You is one. And another person. But I'm going to speak it one more. I'm not going to delay, delay. Because warrior don't delay. You no know. Warrior just want to get over. Amen. Get over Satan. Amen. Works Amen. whatever Satan is doing. Warrior don't delay. Amen. I don't. I Amen. do not delay. My God is a right on time. Fire by force. The fire by force. Amen. My God is a right on time God. Amen. If the next person can just unmute their phone and speak up right now, don't be afraid. Let me tell you something, people. The person who is trying to hold back and don't want to talk, it happened to me, you know. Listen to me. Two times I see, I have, three times in life I have this. When I was young and out there was, I don't know if it was the medic, uh, if I, when I was taking birth control back then, that thing happened to me, infection. Another time, and it could be sexual transmission too, because I was having sex sometime. I use condom, sometime I don't. Get me straight, people, I speak it as it is. I don't go wrong the corner. Yeah. Holy Spirit is speaking right now. And I end up, my God Almighty, having that kind of, my God Almighty, infection. They used to call one East infection. They said, when you wash your underwear and don't put it in the sun and it get good burning, it can, the, the, the panty can have an odor in it and send back that, e, that infection in your vagina. Yeah. It happened to man, it happened to woman. Come on, people of God. This is no anky panky joke thing. Holy Ghost is a doctor. Heal me, Holy Ghost. In the midst, my God Almighty, of another time when I have it, people of God, I used to have this thing, my God Almighty. We were so stupid and ignorant, we call it scratch, scratch. Because when that thing start to itch, you just have to be scratching at your vagina. Men do it too. Come on, talk to me, scratch on their penis. Reveal. Reveal. I have to talk it as it is. People of God, I have no time for foolishness. Anyway, you hear me talk, that's all the Holy Ghost I want to use me. Thank you. Hallelujah. For the word of truth. Marco, this is true. This is what God, Jesus Christ, talk about truth. People might, oh, she vulgar, oh, she this, oh, she that. You can't stay there. If man and man want to kiss in the open, why I can't speak things to deliver God's people? Why can't speak the truth? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And right there, my God Almighty, I was having that infection so bad, people of God. When the discharge come down and me used to itch, man, I used to have to be washing and scratching and rubbing. I have to be using oil, Vaseline. Come on, people, I'm telling that this is. That was then. That was then. Amen. Thank you. you all know I talk about myself. I have no, there's no condemnation with me. Right. Thank you. And that thing, my God Almighty, it did not leave me until I used to have to go and get those yellow and black capsules. That was then. Capsule did not even have side effect those times, those days, like now. Yeah. No. Right. When you take capsule back then, as you take it, it start to dry up infection and get you going. Right away. But not now. Nowadays, capsule, you're taking it and it's not doing anything for you, making your worse. But you need the power. Of God took my yeah. he be a the word from the day. Hallelujah. Listen to me. You know why God doing this? I'm I, it, it was teaching about the spirit of discernment. Come on, people. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. So God Thank asked me Lord. to start to God, God showing you his mighty power, the manifestation of his power. Yeah. His children will not be ignorant. Thank you. Thank to you. show that my God Almighty, I just, I just teach about it. I'm praying and God, I'm praying about fever, name it and what of you, but God go all the way in the penis and the vagina. Look at God. Look at God. Almighty. Lord God Almighty. So right now, my God Almighty, our dear sister said is she the, the next is the next person ready to talk because three, as I said, three to four times. People of God, those things used to follow me up because I was I, most likely I was dirty. I was living dirty. I was living stink. Amen. I was living dirty, stink, and disgusting. Mercy. Mercy. And Mercy. sleeping. Mercy. Listen to me, sleeping with dirty men that don't take care of their self. Come on, people. Yeah. Is the mercy of God help me out there that I wasn't sleeping with madman? Come on, because the spirit of sex was upon me. 
The spirit of sex was upon me. So I was sleeping with all kind of men. Even when even when the Obia man end up trick me, um, hypnotize me and have sex with me people of God, I end up with infection. I was smelling so bad that man leave a stinkness in my vagina. Come on, talk to me. You see, I am here to help people, people of Hebrew! I it. I it. So I tell it as it is. That's why God have me to have story. My sister Denise and sister Merlin didn't know that I was facing this kind of lifestyle. But now I can tell it because I am delivered. Hey, hallelujah. Uh, Ancestry, walking in victory. Amen. I used to have to go into go go into the pharmacy where you, you know those days you could go to the pharmacy and get these things to buy. Without doctor tell you because from you see infection, he said, No, you have to get rid of it because you have to survive. Come on, talk to me. Amen. The next Amen. thing again, when I got saved, I thought I was clean. I thought I was okay. Until while I'm going there, 2003 got saved, 2004, my God Almighty coming right on. Before that, before I got saved, I was having the problem. When I got saved, I said, okay, God might just touch me and heal me and do for me. While I'm going, people of God in the midst, listen to me. Can you imagine me kneeling down praying? And while I'm there praying, I'm smelling myself. Come on, people. Ooh, apostle yeah. revealing. I'm there smelling myself. Can you listen to me? You know one of the words. Let me tell you something, people of God, because I get to a place right now. I'm so radical with God. I can't hold back when, when God said talk. Amen. Thank you. It happened, my God Almighty, that I even when I go to places to look for people and sit down, I can't smell myself. Lord Jesus. Just come from the bathroom. Just have a fresh. Clean up myself the best way I can, people. Come on, talk to me. Amen. There were times when instead of me wearing, listen to me, instead of myself here wearing panty, Sheila, I was to wear a pad because I, I was, it's, it's, it's like these things just coming down heavy. Come on. Hebrew Basha! You all find me very nasty to talk like this, don't it? This graceful woman. No, Apostle. No. And people of God, you all, you all, you all need, you all need to get to understand my God Almighty. When I go, you see, even when I go like places like all hairdresser and I sit down, oh God, I know who over my head smelling it because it is smell so strong, the odor so strong coming from my vagina. Come on, people. I have to be back in this car. He have to be buckling this kind of spirit. And at the same time, having demon sex in me all the time. You can imagine, people. Hallelujah. When I got saved, I thought I'd get over it. But I wasn't loose yet. I wasn't free yet. So it was, it was when I cried out to God, 2005, I cried out to God and I said, God, you have to help me. You have to get rid of this smell, God. All about my sister. You have to help me, my God. You have to get rid of this smell. It have to go in Jesus' name. And it is when I cry out to God. I was living with a woman. She was miserable. She something wrong with her. God Almighty know it. She would be at me like... You know, like when a dog setting out for another dog to just rush at them. That's how that woman used to treat me. And I had was to hide one night when the Holy Spirit said, Get up and go in the living room. Because in the living room is where we have service. And that's holy ground. That's holy ground. Amen. And I Amen. went in on that living room ground and I lay out. You want to see me to, you know, acting as if God stand right there and an operation going on. I said, God, I opened my leg. I said, God, cleanse me, cleanse me. And I'm knocking on my vagina. I said, cleanse me, cleanse me right now. He Mighty God. Cleanse me right now, God. And let me tell you something. In a quick and a second, the fire of God come down. 
and just sap up that every inflection out of me. Come on, people. Snap up that infection. You know the next thing that can give you all infection to menopause. Whether you want to believe it or not. I have been there. Menopause people of God will give you infection. I have been in the midst where my God Almighty, when I've started out with menopause, that is after period dry, dry up. What is period? Your monthly bleeding that a woman has to be having. Tell it as it is because I want people out there to catch it and understand what I'm saying. Those that don't get it. And in the midst, my God Almighty, of that, you all need to get an under. You know, I stand in the midst of a church one day and I was speaking and I said, you know, you know, this uh, menopause is something that is so terrible. And, you know, when a woman finished, stop seeing their period. The, the, the pastor woman stopped me. Uh, 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 stop it right there. Stop it right there. I don't, I don't want those kind of things. And uh, 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 I'm in this church. And da, 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 da. I said, uh, uh, she don't even know what she did. Quenching. She quenched the Holy Ghost. She tell me, no, no, no. She said, I am, this is her, with her prideful self. I myself not even yeah. going through that. And that was a lie from the pit mm -hmm. of hell. Not about her. But I just shut up because it was, listen to me, because it was her church, it wasn't God's church. That's why I let her do and say what she want to do. Amen. But thank God for this empowerment line. And look where these things are reaching all over the world. All over the world it is going. All over. The preaching of the gospel. All over the world it is going. Just to help somebody. So I'm going to ask right more one one more time I'm going to speak. Whoever if I don't talk enough about myself for somebody to have the confidence, oh, thank God for our dear sister that speak out. And she she, she right now when she speak out, God starts to operate on her while I'm speaking. Uh. And I want her to come and testify and tell me how much she's going to find herself come back fresh and nice again. If I don't talk enough to put con my God Almighty, this thing is something else. The devil not going to stop me today. So what I'm saying, people of God, whatever I have spoken, I have given you enough confidence to say that I am one of them. Who is the next person? God don't make mistake, you know. God don't make mistake for you, for whoever to be in the midst today. For you all, whoever it is going on, to be in the midst of this line today, to say that I am one of them and I need to be delivered and set free. To God. I buy no pride. I am huh? one of them. It's just the teacher crystal. All right. I include myself. All right. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go forth. Survive. All right. Go forth, people. Go forth. More people. More people. More people. Jesus, Lord. <laughs> Listen to me, I bind up the spirit of pride for him. I come against pride in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, people. From the moment you see your vagina or your penis have an order, speak up. Amen. Heal me, Lord Jesus. Heal me. You see, if people were doing these things in the house of God, hey. No, no, they're afraid. They're afraid. They're afraid. People telling people to go to doctor when there's a doctor, Jesus. Amen. 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 One more time, whoever know that they are having a having, having an order in their vagina or their penis, talk up right, right now. I'm going to pray. And if you think you can deceive God, you're going to live with it if you think you can deceive God. Because what happened right now, when you open up your... Listen to me. This is what I learned from my Bununus, which is my God, Jesus Christ. 
You see, when you open up and, and, and speak what is going on, Satan loves secret. Satan loves secret, and when you keep secret with Satan, he will have you dung. You can't able to rise. You can't have happiness, peace, joy, or whatever you want to have in the Holy Ghost. Come on, talk to me. Hi. Yes, God. Um, okay, I'm going. I'm ready to pray, and I'm not going to keep up this line anymore. I'm ready to pray. So, who is the next person? Who is the next person? Let me pray like a mad woman. Please pray for me. Hallelujah. So, so everybody talk what they have to talk. Listen, you see, when I pray this prayer, different for those on YouTube. Different for those that don't hear me, right dear people are going to tell you something. They're going to get delivered and set free, but God don't like deceitful spirit and God don't like pride. Because the Holy yeah. Ghost show me, show me the operation that is going on. I'm going to pray now. I, you know what? I will forever let this, I will forever let my bonanunos feel good. You all can stay there. Let me pray. Let me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God of more than enough, I thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your goodness and your mercy, for your loving kindness towards us, sweet Holy Spirit of God. Right now, Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ, mighty God, mighty God, your altar, Lord God Almighty, is holy, but it is not, my God Almighty, holy enough that, my God Almighty, your people can't able to be on it because the altar was made for them to be on it. Every one of us, God Almighty, that are going through this kind of situation, and every one of your people that needed your touch, you have heard the name call up to you. You have heard your people cry out to you, God Almighty. I ask in the name of Jesus Christ, take over my God Almighty, move in your might and in your power. Let not the enemy prevail, Lord God. And look at it, look at it. Look what the Holy Spirit is saying to me. All of you that are going through these things is not sexually active. Look at that. Look at that. Look even though I have seen people that are sex sexually active but afraid to talk. But let them keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Since, since it's a private business, put it on the shelf and sell it. May God have mercy. May the Lord God Almighty have mercy about that. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, take over right now. I call in the power of God to come down. Marco said to the candle bush in the I call in my God Almighty fire from an eye to fall down on my God Almighty your people vagina your people my God Almighty penis burn out every infection burn burn out my God Almighty every infection that my God Almighty is in the midst every pain, every agony, every burning every itching Ribasha! fire Come on, fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire. I command fire to fall down on your people right now. Fire, fire, fire. Fall on your people right now. Consume. Consume. Consume out of every vagina, every penis. Every one of your people, them that are suffering this infection, this terrible infection, whether it is called from the toilet, whether it is caused from not my God Almighty, the underwear not clean enough, whether it is caused, my God Almighty, from a rug, the soap, my God Almighty, sitting on public toilet, my God Almighty, and whatever they have picked up in the midst, whether it called from infection, my God Almighty, caused from medication, whatever the doctor is giving, and it is not good for the body. And I come on right now, dry up, 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 dry up in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, receive, receive, receive. Receive, 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 receive. Receive the mighty, powerful hands of God. Receive, 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 receive. Right now, right now in Jesus' name. Take over God Almighty, move in your might and in your power. For you are God, your Lord, your King. 
and you are worthy of everything God Almighty that belongs to you all of your mighty works all of your mighty power in the name of Jesus Christ in the mighty precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ as we give you the praise as we give you the glory Hallelujah. power of God cramp and paralyze infection in vagina in penis and set your people free in the mighty name of the Lord God Almighty glory be to God hallelujah fire 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 fall on your people fire 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 fall on your people just like the days of Pentecost fire fall on your people like the day of Pentecost fire fall on them fire 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 fall on the vagina fire 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 fall on the penis just like the day of Pentecost fire fall on your people just like the day of Pentecost fire fall on your people Father God burn out herpes burn out herpes Lord Jesus burn out herpes burn out my God Almighty every infection my infection of disease burn it out right now in Jesus name burn it out in the name of Jesus Christ even if it is HIV or AIDS burn it out in Jesus name burn it out in Jesus name and set your people free from all captivity in the name of Jesus Christ and as it has been written my God Almighty that you are the deliverer Deliver your people and set them free in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is the kingdom of God. Kingdom of God come in for the poor in spirit. Blessed are they that mourn. God, they mourn, they not just mourn, but they groan over pain and agony. Let them be comfort, God. Blessed are the meek. Those, Lord God Almighty, are meek, full in their spirit, and trust you, and not afraid, God Almighty, to come forth and tell you. Let them able to inherit the hurt. Blessed are they which do hunger for thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Fill them with your holy, my God Almighty. Fill them with your power. Fill their body with your power. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Blessed are they. Blessed are the merciful. For they shall obtain mercy right now. Obtain the mercy of God. Blessed are the poor in heart. For they shall see God. See God in his mighty manifestation right now. Blessed are are. My God Almighty, are the person, the peacemaker, for they shall be called the children of God. As long as you are the peacemaker and you are the children of God, be blessed because you are the children of God and God is in operation doing for you right now. Blessed are they which are, my God Almighty, persecuted for righteousness sake, for there are, for there is the kingdom of heaven. You have, you have been persecuted for righteousness sake, you're living for God and you have been persecuted of things of your past so right now in the name of Jesus Christ be blessed see the kingdom of God come in blessed or blessed when men shall reveal you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for God for your sake it doesn't matter who want to talk and say oh look at she she of this she of that whatever they are saying God already cancel that cancellation in the name of Jesus Christ let God arise 
lies and the enemy scatter in Jesus name whatever falsely they want to say it is my God Almighty for the sake of Jesus Christ the gates of, Ev of hell shall not prevail right now I speak with all of you my God Almighty that is getting the power of God in the midst healing and delivering you rejoice and be exceedingly my God Almighty glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they the prophet which was Jesus Christ which were before you glory be to God hallelujah minister gay go forth in Jesus name it is done it is finished come back and testify in Jesus name I rise up to tell you some of you check yourself right now it is it gone it gone right now come on talk to the Lord Glory be to God, hallelujah, keep God. Hallelujah. God. People of God, I just want to say that talk about an example of the demonstration of the spirit of discernment. Just what was spoken about for all these hours and now in full operation, closing out the service, was a powerful, powerful example of the spirit of discernment. Tapping into those who are suffering, tapping in to bring healing and deliverance and freedom all through the power of discernment. I just love the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, we applaud you. Holy Ghost, we honor you. Holy Ghost, we give glory to the great physician who operates through the Holy Ghost, through that spirit of discernment as the woman of God came forth. I bless the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. What a powerful way to close out this service. And people of God, each and every one of us, I just want to say, and this will go up onto the recording on YouTube, for those who tap in and are planning to join the Empowerment Line service, it is not a prayer line, but it is an empowerment church that happens to meet on a phone line. And look at the great and mighty things God is doing through the warrior, through the woman of God. You think of miracles, signs, and wonders. Follow the apostle, all the angels that operate for her, working for her. We can call upon to work for us. The favor that rests upon her life rests upon us. So when we come together, we see the demonstration of what God is doing in such a time as this, in such perilous times. We are experiencing joy. We are experiencing freedom. We are experiencing miracles, healing, salvation, freedom for families. Conference unlocked. All that God has been doing and all the testimonies that have been coming forth over this year that I call of acceleration, each and every month that we were together got more intense and stronger and stronger as God brought forth teachings and prayers and deliverance during each of the months of the year. And now we have less than three weeks to go in this year, and I'm expecting us to end 2017 with such power, with so much to be grateful for, with so much to testify about that the world can hear and know that Jesus Christ is alive. He's alive and well, and he is in full glory and in full operation in the lives of his people. And for those who don't know him or don't want to know him, we are continuing to pray for them and the YouTube channel is a powerful way of reaching people around the world Thank you for, the for those that want to join the empowerment service we are on during the week beginning at 6 a.m. Eastern time until whenever the Holy Spirit is done please check the line because we're not necessarily on every day but check it if it's not available certainly try back the next day Fridays are deliverance time and then we are also on Sundays at 12. When we come on for service, we spend about 20, 30 minutes in corporate prayer, a very, very dear and powerful time together where we get the atmosphere stirred, where we speak yes. to the Lord, where we honor Him, we adore Him, we acknowledge Him, we thank Him. We get the atmosphere ready for when the woman of God comes forth. And then whatever the Holy Spirit has on the agenda, that's what happens. There are no pre-planned messages. Apostle does not write out. She does not script out. Everything that goes on comes strictly from the Holy Ghost. Every scripture you hear, every teaching, every prayer, it is raw, it is live, it is real. So you can certainly go back to the YouTube channel, re 
re-listen, play it in your atmosphere, encourage those to set up, if they can, a desktop in your home. Christmas time is coming. I know people don't necessarily, we don't certainly acknowledge it or celebrate it, but if, if there's any gift giving that goes on, whether it be your birthday or some other occasion, certainly think about maybe a laptop, uh, a desktop that you could set up, even a tablet you can do, whatever works, and have the prayers running continuously in your atmosphere. It will make a difference. We are seeing on the YouTube channel testimony after testimony of people writing in and saying, I was playing that deliverance prayer and I got delivered. I was listening and my son said, you know, he's healed. All different testimonies coming forth, and we bless God for what he's doing. That is the power of the Holy Spirit, transcending everything, using this powerful social media channel to reach people around the world. We are hearing from people in Africa. We are hearing from people in Europe. We have those even on the line today that might be joining us from Europe. We have people writing in from all over the United States. It is catching a fire. More and more viewers and more subscribers. It's certainly not about numbers, but it's about reaching people with the truth. Because once they have the truth of Christ, they will be set free. Nothing else is, is spoken of on this line but the pure word of God. Everything comes straight from the scriptures. You can track it, you can Amen. trace it, and you can write it down in your notes, and you can look it up later and see that it backs up everything that the woman of God is is talking in the teachings, whether it be Amen. in a, a prayer that's going on. It's the word that's coming out of her mouth because she is so filled with it. So, people of God, we encourage you, read your word, listen to the channel, uplift your spiritual life to get that double balance, as she's been teaching on, between the natural and the spiritual. We want to get that spirit man up more and more. And those of you that would like to bless the ministry, you can certainly do so by reaching me via the email address that's posted on the screen. It's one long sentence. Help for repentance, serve Jesus at gmail.com. No, no dashes, no underscores, just one long word. Make sure that your spelling is correct. There are two R's after for and repentance. So when you type it, some people have been getting a bounce back and they realize that they didn't type it correctly. So just make sure you copy it down and you're able to type it correctly. I will definitely reply back to you as I've done with so many. Amen. Tell you what you need to do, and it's a blessing to have you reach out and to correspond with you, because each and every one of you are a blessing. Continue to pray for this ministry. There are a lot of needs. We don't talk about it, and we don't need to talk about it. Suffice to say that just pray. Just pray and ask the Lord to send, send help to this ministry. It does take finances. It does take a lot to do what we're trying to do and to take this ministry even further. We only have right now a number that can be dialed into, a U.S. number. Certainly we want people to be able to tap in from all around the world, so we're praying that God will provide the means for all of that so that we can receive people from everywhere and that people can be set free, be blessed, be saved. This world needs to hear the truth. Amen. We thank Amen. God that it's going to happen, and we look forward to 2018 for so many great and mighty Amen. things that he's going to be doing, how he is taking the woman of God and using her at higher heights and deeper depths than him, and new equipment and things that are needed to Amen. bring this message forward in places where it was never reaching before, because the Word tells us this gospel must be preached throughout all all the world for a witness, and then the end shall come. It has to go everywhere. And there still are places, there are still villages, there are still towns, there are still regions that have not been reached. And we want to be able to do that. We want to be able to do so much to help the poor and the needy. So many things to do as Christ commanded us to do. To love one another. To, to do for one another. So we're expecting 
expecting God to move mightily. And let us close out the last three weeks of this year together in love and unity to accomplish all that he has for us. Know that the woman of God continues to pray for each and every one of us. She prays without ceasing. She's a watchman, she's a warrior, and she's a root digger. And she will not stop. She will tap in as the Holy Ghost uses her for God's people and for those who don't even know him, who are wandering, who are lost right now. That's what we care about. We want to reach the lost because the way of destruction is very, very wide, but the way to him is narrow. So we want narrow. to reach those. We want to reach those before it's too late. And now, as we close out this service, Mother Yvonne is going to come forth with Matthew 6, verses 9 through 15, and she will instruct you of what to do next. Love you all in Jesus' holy and precious name. Keep playing the channel, by the way. One more thing. Put your comments, put your testimonies, put your likes, and share the channel. It's the greatest gift that you can give. Go forth, Mother Yvonne, in Jesus' name. Love you all. God bless you. Hallelujah. Please repeat after me. Matthew 6, verse 9 to 15. Boldly, together, please. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. What's this day, our daily bread? Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debts to our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. Forever and ever, amen. Forever and ever, amen. For if he forgive men their trespasses, for if he forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, but if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Glory be to God, hallelujah, amen. Glory be to God, hallelujah, amen. Amen, amen. Glory be to God, glory be to God, glory be to God, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Amen, amen, and amen. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I glorify my thank him. I bless him. I love him. My bunununus. Oh, God. I don't know about nobody but people of God. I am praying for the Lord God Almighty to even bring forth to me, my God Almighty, a teaching about my bunununus. About, about myself and my bunununus. Why I call him my bunununus. So, people of God, hallelujah, glory be to God, hallelujah. Just want for you all to know, my God Almighty, that the Lord Jesus Christ love you all so much, people of God. He love him, love him, love him, love you. He love you all so much, my God Almighty. I hear myself said I love you all very much, but people of God, he loves you more. So, it is for him, my God Almighty, for us to please him. And I just pray, my God Almighty, that when this message go out there about the spirit of discernment, my God Almighty, how to know if the spirit of discernment, 
discernment is operating. My God Almighty, or it is not. People of God, just know, my God Almighty, hallelujah, that the Lord Jesus Christ is in operation. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Be blessed, you and your family, without stress. Be blessed without stress. Mwah, 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 mwah. Mwah, mwah. Love from above. Love you, 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 love you. Love you, love you. Thank you, Thank you. 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 Thank you.